Hello, I'm Thomas from the Spirit Gaming Community. I'm going to walk you through how to install the mods as well as all the setup you'll need to join our live Milsim server. Just so you're aware, the mods I download in this video may be different to those on the repo at the time you download them, as we change the mod set and deployment every few months. There are two things you will need to do this Armor 3 Sync and Java Runtime Environment 7. Annotations will link you to these things. There will also be links in the description. Once you download ARM3Sync, you'll get this screen here. It's asking you to set your ARM3X Ubel location. What you want to do is push the select button. Then it will be in this ARM3 directory. Scroll through until you find ARM3Battleye.exe, which is this one. Then push OK. Then you want to go to the add-ons tab, located here. Check that this is pointing to your Armour 3 directory, normally found at C program files, Steam, Steam apps, common and Armour 3. If you use a different one, obviously change it. Just by pushing this plus button, you can add a new one and then delete the old one. You're also going to want to go to the launch options tab. So in here, you're going to want to push these buttons. No pause. You're also going to want to push no splash screen, default world empty. And type in here 2 space 1. That's to make your game actually launch after it's launched BattleEye. Okay, so now you want to go to the repositories tab here. Push this blue plus button to add a repository. The repository name is going to be shg space live, like that. Make sure it's on FTP. Then type in the host URL, which is 74.91.122.1. Check the port is 21 and type in the login which is milsim user. Okay, so now you'll have an add-on repository called SHG Alive. T to join this, you're going to push this button here. You get this new page and it'll be checking your files. What this does is it goes into your ARM3 directory and sees which mods it will need to download. Then it shows you in this list. So if it's red and it's got a warning sign, it means you have to re-download the whole mod. If it's just got a warning symbol, that means you have to download parts of the mod. And if it's got one of these Lego bricks here, that means you have the mod downloaded and you don't need to do anything about it. So to download the mods, all you're going to do is push select all, make sure the ones you need to download are selected, then push this play button. Let's start downloading. This can take a while, so I'd recommend leaving it overnight. However, I've only got a couple to download, so it shouldn't take too long at all. Okay, so now it's finished. Pop up with it. It'll pop up with this. Asking you to use the TFR installer. You're not going to be doing this. If you please push cancel, because we think this corrupts mod files. It's quite easy to do yourself, and I'll show you a little bit later on. So now check your files again, and then sync through to the add-ons. I'm now going to show you how to launch with the mods and a way for you to launch straight into the server. Okay. So first we're going to go to the add-ons tab. Then in the top right there's a mod sets button. If you click on this, it'll sync again and come up with a screen showing all of the repositories you've got and their mod sets. So choose the SHG Alive one, push OK. You will then have an add-on group for SHG Alive. This contains all of the mods you will need to launch with and it auto updates as well. So if you just want to start your game, don't want to join the server, tick this, make sure it's all ticked, push start game. Then to set up join the server, you want to go to this. I'm going to push the plus button to add a server, give it a description. So I'm going to call it SHG Alive. The IP address is the same as the one before, so that's 74.91 point one two two point eight two the port is two three three five then the password you'll be given on your enlistment so I'm not going to put it in here then join with the mod set just choose the one you just created SHG Alive then to join the game and join straight to our server just select that 
it automatically ticks all of this and push start game and your game will start and you'll be joined to the server. Okay, well that's it for Arm3 Sync. Now to show you how to use how to set up your TFL. So Task Force Radio is the mod we use to do radios in our server. So what you want to do is you want to go to your Arma 3 directory. So we go your C drive, your program files 86, your Steam, then Steam apps down here, common, arm 3, and here they all are. You want to find the folder called at task underscore force underscore radio. I've got way too many mods. In there, you'll see a plugins folder. Double click on this. These are the two you'll need to look at. You want to choose the one which corresponds with your OS. So I'm on Windows 64 bit. So I'm going to copy that. Then it's handy if you have a TeamSpeak shortcut on your desktop. You just right click on that and go open file location. Otherwise, just get to your TeamSpeak 3 folder. And at the top, you've got another plugins folder. In here, you're going to want to paste, and the plugin should appear. So, once that's done, you're going to want to open TeamSpeak. Connected. Okay, so I've automatically joined our TeamSpeak server, but what you, want, what you will want to do is go to your settings, then plugins, and just check that you've got a Task Force Arma 3 radio here, and that it's ticked. To double check that, if you click on your profile, once you connect it to a server, you'll see this bit here, it just tells that your task force radio is working. Okay, so now the last step is for you to join our live war room. So, what you want to do is click the link in the description and that will take you to this page. Your live mod war room. Once you're here, if you don't have a profile, you'll be asked to create one. It's as easy as creating any other profile. You just put in all the details. Make sure you do put in your Arm3 PID so it can link through all your stats. Then you'll get to this page. Just click the Join a Group button at the top. So when you get to this page, you want to search for Spearhead. Like that. And you'll see Spearhead Departments of War. You push the Apply button on the right. In your application, you want to type in Illuminati. like that and push apply and you'll see you have a group application there okay so that's all it is okay so that's you done however if you do have any issues whilst you are doing this feel free to jump on our team speak at ts.spearheadgaming.net and find anybody with this milsim help and support tag which is this hammer and wrench or jump into the Milsim help and support channel up here, this one here, just, just below the lobby. Well, that's it from me, and I hope you have a great time with us at Spirit Gaming.